Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be making a chicken and rice bake. We're gonna put everything into a nine by 13 baking dish and it goes in the oven and out comes this delicious uh, dinner for you. That's full of flavor. We've got bell peppers and mushrooms and onions in our rice mixture and then our chicken part is, has a marinade of yogurt and some more spices. You're gonna love this. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What kind of car do sushi chefs drive? Rolls Rice. <laughs> Try and say sushi chef five times in a row, really quick. We're gonna start off with a marinade for the chicken because it needs to marinate for say one to two hours. Longer is always better, but today we're gonna do it probably an hour. That should be your minimum. So I got some organic yogurt here. Just plain yogurt is what you want to use. You don't want to use one with the uh, flavorings. There's a lot of sugar in it. I'm going to add some olive oil to this. You know, about a, I'm going to add a, almost a quarter of a cup. You can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Check it out. To that, we're going to add some thyme. I've got thyme, paprika, tarragon, and garlic powder. So we're going to toss some of that in there. And paprika, we're going to go with a little more. We're going to do a teaspoon and a half. Now the tarragon is really nice spice. It goes really well with beef and poultry, and it has a subtle anise type flavor to it, it's, but it's subtle, okay? Garlic powder, we're going to put some of that in there. Of course, that always makes it great. And some salt. And then you want to blend that up. Now, I like to use chicken thighs in this because, well, they stay so nice, moist, and juicy and tender. You're going to love this. So mine are boneless, skinless, and we're going to just place it right into our marinade. I'm going to marinate five chicken thighs, but you could do as many as six or seven. This, uh, there's enough marinade for that. Grab a spoon and give this a nice stir to coat all the chicken, and then we're gonna marinate it in the refrigerator for a, a good hour. So while the chicken is marinating, we have time to cut up our other vegetables that we're gonna use in our rice. I'm gonna cut up here a half of a red bell pepper, it's organic by the way, and I'm gonna cut this up into a very fine dice. I'm also gonna chop up a half of a yellow onion, and we're gonna do the super fine dice on this as well. So I'm gonna make some horizontal cuts first, and then we're gonna go vertical. And then when we cut it, you can see how nice and fine this turns out very quickly. And then I like to run my knife through it again to get it all nice and small. For my mushrooms, I'm using these baby bell mushrooms and I'm just wiping them to remove any excess dirt. And then we're just gonna slice them up nice and fine. Again, you can leave these bigger if you like, but I like the super fine dice on these as well. So I'm placing all my veggies here in a bowl. Okay, we got our frying pan here over, we'll put it up to medium heat to start off. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of butter. Once the butter is melted, then we'll add our vegetables, the bell pepper, onion, and mushrooms, and we're gonna saute this for about seven minutes. And now you can see here that the onions and the bell peppers and the mushrooms are translucent. I'm using basmati rice here in this recipe, but you could use regular white rice if you want. The instructions for this rice suggest that I rinse it under water, so that's what I'm gonna do. Pour it in a strainer and then run it under the water. Once the rice is drained, then I will place it into a, my nine by 13 dish. Then I'll add the sauteed veggies, some chicken broth, some dried parsley, basil, and of course some salt. Now give this a good stir to make sure you mix all those ingredients really well. I've taken my marinated chicken out of the refrigerator and now we're gonna place the chicken on top. If you have any marinade left over in the bowl, be sure and scrape that out and place it right on top. Just spread it all over the top of the chicken. 
preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to cover this with foil and place it in the oven for 30 minutes. Then we're going to remove the foil, add some broccoli, and then pop it back in the oven for another 15 or 20 minutes until the rice is completely done. The chicken and rice is in the oven, so that means we have time for chef joke number two. What do you call a great chicken? Impeccable. <laughs> All right, it's been 30 minutes cooking in the oven, so now we're gonna add some broccoli. So I've cut up some broccoli and I've just placed little pieces all around it and we're gonna leave the cover off. And we're gonna cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes and we're, we're checking the rice to make sure that it's done at that point. Today we're gonna have three chef jokes. What kind of movies do hens like to watch? Chick flicks. So after 15 to 20 minutes, go ahead and take it out and take a little taste of that rice. Make sure that it's nice and tender the way you want it. This smells so amazing, you can't believe it. And I tell you the flavors, that rice with the butter really adds something and it's just moist and delicious and flavorful. You are gonna love this dish. The beautiful thing about this recipe is it's easy to make and put together and it is so full of flavor. You're gonna be having this at least once a week. And the thighs in this are so tender and juicy, I tell you, way better than chicken breast. If you want a delicious dessert to go along with our chicken casserole, try my strawberry mousse. It is creamy and delicious. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the old like button, leave me a comment, and share the video. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.